Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be looking at some free stuff right here on your PlayStation. So let's just go all the way to your store. In your store we're going to download this for free. And that's because using PS Plus membership we do get quite a few things for free. So let's just scroll down to PS Plus and right here just keep scrolling to the right until we see PS Plus exclusive packs. So that's where we can get all these other things for free. You guys can see there's quite a few things right here. However, we're gonna start with Fortnite, and yes, sometimes we do get errors with these add-ons. However, we can still run the game, and then it's all gonna be good. Just make sure whichever game you're downloading add-ons for, the game is actually fully closed. So make sure it's completely closed. Not just minimized or something like that, but fully closed. So you shouldn't see any other games. To make sure your game's fully closed, one of the things you could do is just run another game. Okay, that way you make sure it is fully closed. And I cannot stress that enough because a lot of people send me messages saying that these packs don't work, but that's only because they haven't fully closed their game. You can also restart your console and that should do the trick. But anyways, let's just start with Fortnite. Right here, Fortnite, we have this. So we just click on download. And yes, it is free. That's why you don't see a price right now. And sometimes you do see a mistake where it says unavailable. In this case, it only tells me overview, which is fine. We can just go back. And we're gonna download the next one. And here we go. Obviously, you can only download the ones that you want. So you don't have to download every single one like I'm gonna show you right now. However, I do wanna show you that they all work and they're just fine. So right now it says purchased. Yeah, so, so far no errors. We are used to seeing those errors like unavailable for purchase or cannot download. However, we just downloaded it and it works just fine. As long as you're using the same account to log into your game, then you're fine. So a lot of you use your PlayStation account to log into a certain game. Other people use another account that could create problems. For now, we're almost done downloading everything that we wanted. These things download really fast. Well, depends on the pack. In this case, all these packs are pretty small, so we don't have to really wait for them. So see how Fortnite says unavailable? That's okay. We will still have these things. Just restart your console if you have any problems. Right now, what we're gonna do, just to show you that it does work, we're gonna run Fortnite and show you how it would work in Fortnite or in any other game for that matter. So we're just gonna start off Fortnite, go into it, and we're gonna take a look at that skin. It should pop up right away, so we shouldn't have a problem. Again, the skin should pop up right away. It's just like getting a gift, you will just see it. There's no gifting section where you can see all your gifts and gifts that you're getting. Uh, same goes with these packs. There's no selection. There's nowhere you can go within the game where you can see, oh, I'm gonna get this pack. Um, no, in this case, we just got it, we downloaded it, we can log in and we're gonna see it right away. All right, so we're just gonna log in right now. Again, we would log into the game the normal way. We're just gonna close this and right away we should see this popping up. So this is the same way that you would get a gift. It just pops up by itself. So right now we can equip or go next. In this case, I'm gonna equip it so you guys can see. Uh, same deal, I'm going to equip this as well. And there we go. There's the awesome skin that we just got for free because we have PlayStation Plus membership. So again, with the membership, we do get a couple free games every month. Plus, sometimes we get awesome packs from it. So this is definitely worth it. By the way, to fully close a game, the way that you do that is just going to this menu and closing the application. That's what I mean, fully close the game. And that fully closed the game. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.